I feel sorry for Felicity Huffman. There's one co-host that's with me. I feel sorry for her, you guys. I know she's wrong, she's wrong, she's dead wrong. She needs to do all four months. I heard on the news at four months, she pled guilty in the college uh, admission scandal yesterday. And there she goes, Lynette Scalvo. She arrived to court two hours early. She was holding hands with not her husband, William Macy, but her brother. It's funny, because when you hold hands in public, you just assume it's a lover or a husband or something. <laughs> anyway, her husband, uh, William H. Macy, was not there to support her. Now, he could have been supporting her from afar. You know his show, Shameless, just got picked up for a 10th season. It's one of the biggest shows on TV. <laughs> but this is the time where he was supposed to be there with her regardless of Shameless. I mean, he's the star of Shameless. And, you know, they can't do any scenes without him. But if he's the star of the show and the whole production team knows that he and his wife are going through this legal thing with the college scam, you would think that they would, he would go to them and then they would graciously shut production down for the day. And like I said, I don't know that he was taping. I just wonder where he was. He is her husband, for goodness sakes. And he was also in the room as part of the caper of when uh, it was said that um, th they asked uh, for their daughter, who has a little bit of a learning challenge, to have all the grades changed on her SATs so that she can get into the school that she wanted to go to. Yes, yes, I know what, that's why I feel bad. I'm aiding and abetting a criminal. But, <laughs> <laughs> truth be told, it wouldn't be my first time. You know. <laughs> You know how you like somebody, but you know they did the crime. Yes. Like, I still like um, OJ, even though I know he did the crime. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad about that, but he's charming. What can I say? Anyway, back to the situation at hand. So the prosecutor is recommending four months. See, I thought that I heard 14 months earlier this morning, but the shower water was getting in the way. I, I, and, and, and I said, well, 14 months, that's, that's fair. That's fair, she should do all 14 months. But instead I get here, the bureau tells me it's four months. I'm like, she should definitely do all four months. <laughs> but I still feel bad, you know? And, 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 I, and I was like, why do I feel bad? And I asked the bureau in our morning meeting, I said, have I ever met her? Was she here? Why do I feel so connected to her? Like she did, she did something that any, not any parent would do that. But I'm saying, we go to the ends of the earth for our children even if sometimes it involves breaking the rules and we know we're breaking the rules. <laughs> and then I was standing on my secret star behind the double doors, you know, when the man says, and here's Wendy. I'm standing there waiting for the doors to open and then Norman um, tells me, he screams to me before he gets to his podium, she was here season two. Oh. And so, and here are the receipts. And, and I, I swear, I had no idea. I couldn't remember season two. I still couldn't believe we were on TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and um, but you know why? Because secretly, like people who supported me and this show when we were in our infancy are people that secretly, like Joan Rivers, she believed in us when we were doing our six week sneak peek. <laughs> big star like that. Come in this show, you know what I mean? A lot of the big stars don't come here until you know you hit season seven, and even now in season ten, you know they're looking around like, oh, that show, you know. But like Moby is here; he showed up. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, Moby's here. But so now I equate it now why I feel bad for um, Lynette Scalva uh -huh. from Desperate Housewives. <laughs> yeah, First right. of all, I was a Desperate Housewife junkie and she uh -huh. played somebody really good in Wisteria Lane. Second of all, she believed in us when very few did back in the day. Yeah, so, so um, aiding and abetting another criminal look. She will be sentenced on September 13th. If William H. Macy, like I'm done with him now because he wasn't there supporting his wife uh, yesterday when she was being sent. Like I'm done. A brother is a brother, but a husband is a husband. If you got a husband and he's not gonna be there to hold you down, then what good is he? 
But she gets sentenced on September 13th, and if he does show up, then I'll be back in like with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> just William H. Macy, just show up and support your wife as she does her four-year bid. You know? And by the way, I don't have a boyfriend. That was Webb. Give, give him some webcam, please. Well, no, the word on the street. The word on the street is that on Saturday night, I was at the Fierce Ball sitting next to a handsome man who looks a lot like my type. <laughs> and, and, and they showed the picture, they even did it on TV. Did you see it on TV? And I was reading on the blogs, I was like, well, who, who was I with? <laughs> who was I with? I was with the glams and they don't like girls. <laughs> I, I said, who's, oh, it must have been Webb. And I, and I looked, I scrolled down and I'm like, oh, there he is. <laughs> Webb is part of the security detail around here at the show. And you know, I am um, working on my divorce pleasantly right now. When I say pleasantly, I mean, I, I, I ask of you, please, it's hard to say give privacy because I don't give privacy when I'm doing the rest of the stories. <laughs> so you do what you want, you always do. But you know, just to catch you up to speed, that is Webb, he's part of my security details. I am, I am a single woman running around New York. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, listen. You all, come on now. Come on now, you don't just throw away 25 years lock, stock, and barrel. I gotta tell you something right now, as a mature single, I'm a single woman, you know what I'm saying? I, w I would ask, I, well, you know what? You all can say what you want and you're entitled to. You know, I certainly say what I want behind closed doors, but I will tell you this, you know, we do have our son and, and he is away in college and he's home right now if you're wondering why I'm hanging out so much with him. He's home for college break. He sees me, he sees his dad. I go out a lot because I am a good time I'm girl, I like to have fun. I'm right now a young and pretty New York City girl. I live in the... I, I have the ultimate bachelorette pad high atop everything. <laughs> I have a really, really good view and I'm really, really reclaiming my life. But with, and. And I don't have a boyfriend, but I must admit, I am rediscovering my love of men. And, and you know, transparency, I do date. And, and I date pretty often, but, I, but Webb has been to my bachelorette pad. Marco has been to my bachelorette pad. <laughs> Boof has been to my bachelorette pad. And the parade of men will continue. But <laughs> Because I need things lifted, I need things put in position. I'm still unpacking boxes for God's sakes. And that's all I'm saying. So just to catch you up to Wendy's speech, it's weird, you know I was talking to Harvey Levin at TMZ the other day. Uh, hi Harv, hi Van. Um, I was talking to Harvey the other day and you know, I was saying, you know, I know it's like weird cause you know, there's kind of like an unwritten thing amongst, amongst we wags that when we're in the news, I, like you still have to cover it 
when we're in the news. Like I've seen the, 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 the boardroom or the room there at TMZ cover and so like I wince. And I, you know, you don't ask for special favors cause you know, you know I'm, I'm in, but it's just weird to see that, to have the TV on. I was saying to Harvey, Harvey, you know, thank you, you know, for covering and, and doing a really good job. But just cause we know each other, please don't call me for any comments or anything like that. You know, and he was like, oh, like Harvey's a cool, he's, he's a down ass dude. Yeah. He, he really is. That's all. And shout out to the paparazzi, hi. <laughs> Webb had never been to a ball before, by the way. <laughs> Webb has never done a lot before, so hanging around with me. <laughs> Webb is discovering a whole new life. <laughs> anyway, American Idol, everybody, was picked up for another season. And, um, the judges might not be returning. Oh, you like American Idol with the judges, most of you, but a lot of you aren't clapping. If you've noticed this season, it really isn't about the judges. It really is about the contestants. I don't watch American Idol all the time, but whenever I watch, I say, where are the judges? Like, I want more, I want more, because we're so used to Simon and Paula and Randy. So. Now, over at Idol, guess what? They've decided to cut cost and they are renegotiating deals. Now, how are you gonna cut my salary? I've been here putting it down for $25 million in my mind, says Katy Perry. <laughs> you know she got that overpay of $25 million. And uh, then Luke Bryan, they say, is making, Bryan is making $12 million. And Lionel Richie is making $10 million. So, well, about 10 million, what do you think that's too much for Lionel V. Richie? <laughs> First of all, Lionel doesn't need your money. Lionel's got more money than he'll ever know what to do with. But, you know, it's like insulting, I guess. You know, um, clap if you've ever been part of a wage cut at your job. Yeah. Clap if you've stayed. Yeah, yeah, because, like you could go out and get the, the, you know, a job and make the same as you were or maybe get yourself a raise. It must be very insulting to be at a job and all of a sudden get your, you know, your money cut like that you know, at the job. But here's what I feel. Um, if they're gonna cut money, Lionel, Richie, you should stay on the show and here's why. If they cut you to $5 million instead of your 10, you still don't need the 5 million. Here in my mind is why friend to the show, Lionel Richie does American Idol. Because he likes to stay out here. He's, he's like a cat daddy, you know. He's not an older man who wants to stay in the house. Lionel, you need a reason to keep your face pulled and your stomach flat. I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. You know, Lionel is about, you know, what he looks like and how he sings. Lionel, just take that $5 million chump change if that's what they're gonna cut you to. And you sit right there. People seem to like you on American Idol and you're, you know, you're fun. Katy Perry, look, $25 million, you weren't worth that to begin with. In, 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 you know? And when you got there, like I was one of the ones leading the parade, she better be worth it. I don't think she'd be worth it, but let's see what she does. And sure enough, she's not worth it. But listen, <laughs> that being said, Katie, take the pay cut and stay at the show. And because if they cut her from 25 million to say $15 million, you would say if you were Katie Perry, because Katie Perry is still a big star. She does not need American Idol. American Idol needs Katie Perry. They need somebody to sit in that seat that's a really big star, you know? So if it's not Katie Perry, then put Kanye West in there or something like that, right? Wouldn't Kanye be hella interesting? Right? What? Right? You wouldn't know what he's going to say. If you want to be really daring, why don't you hire Jesse Smollett? I mean, <laughs> Jesse sings, he acts. Does he lie? Yeah. No, no, he was found. Well, he wasn't even found not guilty. They just, he, he was just, they just dropped the case. <laughs> But you know, but Katie, listen, if they, if they drop your salary, it seems like you really like to be on that show, money or no money. Like she, ha she likes to have some place to go. They probably let her keep all of her clothes. She's a real people person. She's got a real nice person. Well, clothes are expensive. <laughs> Believe me you, it's not about doing the show. There's a whole bunch of different perks that you need to put in your contract and I bet you she keeps her clothes.
So you take that, but look, release a statement, Katie, so we don't think that they chumped you by cutting your salary. And what you would say is something like, look, American Idol is one of those types of things that I would do it for the new uh, cut of $15 million because I love being here so much. But you promoters and you other people who want things from Katy Perry, I like doing things for you and I won't take a pay cut, but I love Idol and I don't mind the pay cut. And Bryant, Luke, a lot of people still don't eat. <laughs> Luke Bryant. <laughs> American Idol, the finale airs Sunday night at eight on ABC. <laughs> Christopher Darden quit representing that man who killed Nipsey Hussle. He quit. Now, remember, Chris was criticized for being a traitor to his race. And black people were up in arms because he's representing a suspected killer, Eric Holder. His entire family has been receiving death threats. Remember here on Hot Topics, we talked about his daughter who's an older, more mature woman, you know, not a little goober. There she is. She's trying to get her journalism career on while people are telling her, I'll kill you cause, cause your father is representing the killer of Nipsey Hussle. And then the killation spread. They, allegedly, they, they, they threatened his mom and his siblings and like his whole family. His entire family was receiving death threats. So Chris Darden ended up withdrawing from this case so he's no longer in the case. <laughs> and I don't think, I don't know Christopher Darden, but I don't think that, has he been, he's been here. Chris Darden? I th he's been no, here. Uh, I don't think he so, Marsha Clark was. I know Marsha was here, yeah, she was I lovely. <laughs> okay. I don't remember him being here. Okay, well anyway, he seemed, well, you know why? Cause he does seem like one of those out of touch black people who really doesn't, yeah. Yep. Cause if he was in touch, he would have been here. Exactly, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing, he probably watches, which makes him in touch. No, but here's the thing. He probably called up Eric Holder and said, I wanna take your case. You know, I, I feel as though I can get you off. And then people turned on him. And if he was in touch, he would have known that, oh gosh, my people are going to hate me for that. This, is, this, this money is not good money. My family is gonna be threatened and things like that. I think he took it naively. And now he's backed out enlightened. So I don't know who will represent Eric Holder, but I just wanted to put you up to speed with what's going on with Chris Darden, that's all. <laughs> hey, NeNe Leaks, hey, Greg Leaks, congratulations. Did you see that Greg posted? <laughs> Yesterday, he announced to us that he's cancer free. <laughs> you know, Greg has been battling cancer and now he's cancer free. I think it's, oh, he had stage three colon cancer. So good for you, Greg. Good for you, Nene. Good for you. And um, there's a show that I definitely wanna watch on TV. And you know what? I, it's just the kind of girl that I am. You might not be watching, but I'm gonna have to put you onto it if I really like it. I'm gonna give it three episodes, Kate, Do Kate Gosling dating. Okay, only the three of us will be watching. <laughs> These days I've got room on my couch if you would like to come over to watch. But not on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I don't know what day of the week it's going, going to be on. It's gonna be on Monday? Oh, Monday I'm free, I'm recuperating. even have a hamper. Do you know what I use as a hamper? I was talking to my friend Regina the other day. My dearly, my, my friend Regina's husband um, passed away untimely, Nick. They've been married for a long time. Reg is my age too. We've been friends for 40, for 40 years. I've known her since I was a teenager. She's my bestie. And so we were talking on the phone the other night and um, I said, hold on a minute because my reception gets bad when I go to my laundry room, you know what I mean? So I said, hold on a minute, Reg. Let me, um, I'm just gonna put the phone down. So I, I put the phone down and I went over to the laundry room and I came back I said, Reg, you know what? It's so free. I don't even have a hamper. Uh, you know, I have to get one, but I said, I don't even think I want one. Do you know what my hamper is? My washing machine. <laughs> yes, yes! Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a washer dryer in your place, 
and you live by yourself, like where your clothes aren't getting entangled with anybody else's. Like when I take off my outfit, if it's a, I, I throw it in the washing machine, and when I see it gets filled to a certain capacity, I, I then I wash a, a load of clothes. <laughs> it's, it's so freeing. Anyway, anyway. And Reg said the same thing. She was like, I know, I go to the grocery store, I buy what I want. You know, I can sleep like a starfish every night. <laughs> and I says to her, Reg, you every night? She says, yes, every night. Wendy, what about you? I said, well, not every night. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Anyway, so look, Kate is single, you know, Kate Gosling. She's been here on the show before. She's got a mean streak in her, but there's something about Kate that I really like anyway. Do you know people like that? So Kate wants to find new love and she's got all those kids, but she's got these bratty twins. And I say bratty in a good way. Th those, there they are. They're 18 years old. The twins, you know, the, the, the six twins are uh, 16. But she's finding love and she's doing it on camera and I never thought I'd be interested in this show but I care about it for Kate, who by the way is a really beautiful woman considering all she's been through. And, 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 and she's also, and also I'm gonna watch the show because the daughters are some kind of sassy in a really, oh my God, <laughs> kind of way. Take a look. Have you noticed I'm single? for the last decade. What do you think her ideal date would be? She's gonna say something stupid, like on a boat with some wine. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I don't even know like what the rules are. Like, can somebody help me out here? Flirt a little bit. Who needs to practice flirting? Whenever she's trying to be like flirty or whatever, it makes me want to throw up. If I'm genuinely interested, you're gonna know it. It's been fun so far. Good. <laughs> if I'm genuinely not, I just, I don't know that we have a connection, really. No. <laughs> All right. The show is called Kate Plus Date. It premieres June 10th on TLC. And we've got more great show for you today here. Up next, the musician and author, Moby. He's very interesting with his story. So grab a snack and come on back.